Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to disable Active Directory syncing with Azure Active Directory. If you have on premises Active Directory syncing with Azure and decide to move to an all cloud based server solution, you will first need to disable AD syncing. This video only covers the process for disabling on-premises Active Directory syncing with Azure in preparation for moving to an all-cloud solution. Disabling on-premises Active Directory syncing with Azure Active Directory services is a two-step process that requires the installation of PowerShell module and running commands to disable the syncing service. This is our domain controller named WS2K22-DC01 for msfsurat.local domain. On this domain controller, we have installed and configured Azure AD Connect tool. Before doing anything, let's first check Azure AD Connect sync status in Azure Active Directory. Let's go to Azure Active Directory Admin Center. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On overview page, we can see the status of Azure AD Connect. AD Sync is currently enabled and last sync was less than one hour ago. So we can confirm that Azure AD Sync is currently enabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Under Manage, click on Users. You can see the list of all users available in our Azure Active Directory. I'm going to click on Add Filter. Select On Premises Sync Enabled. Value will be Yes and then click on Apply. These are the users which have synced from our on-premises Active Directory to this Azure Active Directory. When we disable the sync between Azure Active Directory and on-premises Active Directory, these users will be converted into cloud-only user accounts. After disabling the sync, we will again check that. Click on Azure Active Directory. Here we can see Azure Ready Connect Sync is currently enabled and last sync was less than one hour ago. Let's jump to our domain controller. In the first step, we will install the Microsoft Azure Ready module for Windows PowerShell referred to as the MS Online module. Open Windows PowerShell and run it as an administrator. To do so, right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. We are going to install MS Online module on our domain controller. Type install hyphen module space MS Online and press enter to run the command. If prompted to install additional modules named NuGet and PS Gallery, type Y for yes and press enter to continue. We are getting warning message that you are installing the modules from an untrusted repository. Are you sure you want to install the modules from PS Gallery? Type A for yes to all and press enter key. The Azure AD PowerShell module has been installed successfully on our server. Next, we will run the commands to disable the AD Sync service. But before that, we need to connect to our Azure Active Directory. Type command connect hyphen MSOL service and press enter key to connect to Azure Active Directory. First, we need to complete the authentication process. Enter the Azure AD Global Administrator's username, which is mw at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Click Next. Type the password and click on Sign In. We are now successfully connected to Azure Active Directory. 
Already we have checked the status of sync using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We can also check the current status of on-premises syncing using PowerShell CMDelete. Get-MSSol Company Information dot directory synchronization enabled. Press Enter key to execute the CMDelete. We can see the output is true. That means on-premises syncing is currently enabled. Now let's disable it. For that, we need to type command set hyphen msol dir sync enabled space hyphen enable dir sync space dollar false. Press enter to disable the on premises syncing. It will ask for confirmation. Type y and press enter to disable it. The same delete is executed successfully. Let's again check the status of the on premises syncing. If syncing has correctly been disabled, the result will be false. Let me run the command which we have run earlier. Press Enter key. We can see this time the output is false. That means on-premises syncing is disabled. We also want to verify that we have disabled Azure AD Connect Sync correctly in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Go back to Azure AD Admin Center web interface. I'm going to refresh the entire web page. And then we'll check the status of Azure Active Directory Connect. Azure AD Connect is not enabled and Sync has never run. We can confirm that we have successfully disabled the Sync between on-premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Users, click on Add Filter and search for On Premises. Select On Premises Sync Enabled. Value will be Yes and click on Apply. We can confirm that we don't have any On Premises Sync Enabled user account in our Azure Active Directory because all the user accounts have been converted to cloud only user account when we have disabled the AD sync with our on premises Active Directory. At this point, if you want, you can uninstall Azure AD Connect tool from your server and completely remove the AD sync. But that we don't want at this moment. We have just disabled AD syncing right now. If the need arise, then we can easily re-enable it using those same CM deletes. Let's go back to the PowerShell on our domain controller. If you choose to re-enable the Azure AD sync, you just need to change the value from false to true. So your CM delete is going to be set hyphen MSOL DIR sync enabled space hyphen enable DIR sync and instead of dollar false, you just need to type dollar true. Let's press enter key to re-enable directory sync between Azure Active Directory and on-premises Active Directory. It will ask for the confirmation. Let me type Y to continue and press enter key. We can see the command has executed successfully. Now let's again run the CMD delete get hyphen msol company information dot directory synchronization enabled to verify that directory sync has been now re-enabled. Let's press under key. We can see this time the output is true. That means on premises syncing is enabled. Now let's check the status of the synchronization. I'm going to click on start button. Click on synchronization service. Okay, uh, this is the timestamp. Let me manually perform the synchronization using the same deletes. So this is going to be the command start hyphen ad sync sync cycle space hyphen policy type initial as we want to perform the initial synchronization. Let's press enter key. Okay, we can see 
it was successful uh, now let's go to synchronization service window uh, the status is in progress so let's wait for the process to complete uh, still it is in progress okay the process has been completed successfully and this is the timestamp now let's go back to the azure active directory admin center web interface uh, let me refresh the entire web page and now you can see uh, all five users are there because currently we are syncing with our on premises active directory and that's why Test user 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, those are coming from our on-premises active directory. And that's why we can see on-premises sync is currently enabled for those 5 users. So this is the way how we can disable and enable active directory sync between Azure Active Directory and on-premises active directory. That concludes the video on how to disable or enable active directory syncing with Azure Active Directory and on-premises Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.